So funny story, this was actually my first job. Old school bagel. I don't know why, but I'm getting breakfast here today. This is called Meat Lovers. It's basically just like bacon, sausage, ham, and it's just thrown all on top of the egg, and then I'll have this with some sriracha, and it is straight fire. I'd say 10 out of 10. It is a little bit cold, but 10 out of 10. All right, what's up guys? So I'm going to film some basketball. This is my first time actually filming basketball. I've been filming football all this year and I just thought I would expand my reach. So what I use is a monopod. I don't really like them, but I'm gonna use them for today. And then I have a 50 mil. I normally have a 70 to 200, but today I just don't have it. So maybe this will be harder and then I'm filming everything on my 24 mil. But this sunset is so beautiful. I'm shooting on a really, really shallow depth of field, so you can't really see it, but it's beautiful, trust me. They just wanna waste my time, so I don't hate nobody. Just stay up on my life and I won't hurt nobody. So just stay up on my sights. People always pull me down. They was told me that I drown when you live in home, living all these leeches come on. I forgot to include how I got to the game. Um, so here's that story. Um, I was actually early, even though I thought I was late. I was hauling balls. I'm kidding you not. I was going like 30, no, not 30. I was going like 15 over the speed limit just to find out the girls' game started late. So I was actually like 30 minutes early. So that's what happened. I didn't really film any of it. And also at the game, I, I mean, I'll show you all in the later in the video, but I just screwed up. So just got to give some clarity, you know, just, just for you guys that were like, whoa, how did you get from point A to point B? I know, I'm a filmmaker. I was supposed to film it, but I was really, really rushed, so my batteries were dead, so I was just stressing, but She's in love there you go. Who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a zen, 13 hours till I land. Had me out like a light, like a light, like a light. Slept through the flight, not for the night. 767 All right, so I'm back and here's some things I learned about shooting basketball one You probably just want to shoot on a wide angle for instance I used a 24 millimeter the whole time and just got under the basket hoping that a ref wouldn't hit me or the ball didn't hit me. I did get very close sometimes. Okay, that's that's satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta be honest, that's satisfying. Um, second thing I learned, you don't really need a monopod or gimbal. I'll be honest, I thought I would need it, but actually I'm shooting everything in 60 frames per second, and also if you can shoot in 120, even better. And then what I'm actually doing is I have a 24 millimeter, so it's wide enough that it's not shaky. And whenever they would shoot or score, whatever it may be, I would just go and I would just track it with my hand versus a monopod, you gotta lean up. And I don't, I hate monopods, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people like them, I just don't, never have. Gimbals are just too slow. Like you slowly has to pan it and it might miss the pan versus handheld, you know exactly where you're tracking and it just looks better. So if you are shooting basketball, definitely shoot handheld. But this is my first time filming basketball. I think it went all right. I mean, I know kind of what to film. It was just kind of tricky to get good angles. You guys have any tips, let me know. But it's basketball season. I'll take you guys along as much as I can whenever I'm filming. Also, I'm traveling later in the year. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Film some lacrosse. I hope you guys like that. And yeah, it's time to get busy. Okay, so this is the outro. I just want you to know, whenever you do comment, I see all of them. So I'm going to read your comments just to, you know, shout you out or whatever it may be. Jason says, the mix between story and quality is amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, Jason. I was trying to do a voiceover. Didn't really work out. I mean, it sounded kind of cheesy, but it worked for what I needed, and I'm going to get better and just make better videos as I go. Second thing, Luke says, this is really good. Keep it up. Thank you, Luke. Um, I shot at like 1,000 ISO or like 4,500. I don't even know. It was like insane, and I just put a film preset on it because it was pretty grainy, so I wanted to go with that grainy look. Third thing, um, don't know what this name is, but it says, ah oh, man, uh, what? Man, keep striving, great story. You're gonna do amazing things, man, trust. Hmm, um, thank you. 